Welcome everyone, I'm Marco Zuppone, I'm a Sentinel Trainer based in Canberra, UK, and in this video I will talk about entitlements and how to issue a license for a product through Sentinel EMS. This is the agenda for this video, I will explain to you the concept of entitlement and how to create one, then we will move to the activation phase and so to the customer portal. The theory will be followed by a practical hands-on as well. If you followed our previous video, you should remember this diagram. This represents the general workflow of Sentinel EMS. In the previous video, we defined the product and now we need to license it. We are in the entitlement phase now that is highlighted in this diagram. So what is an entitlement? The entitlement refers to the right of an end user to use a software package within the mutually agreed terms. The entitlement, as its name suggests, entitles the end user or the channel partner to proceed with the activation and so get the license for the products that are part of it. The entitlement does not be confused with the license. They are two separate entities. The entitlement is just something that allows the recipient of the software to obtain the license through the activation process. Now let's us have a look on what we need to create an entitlement in brief. There are a lot of fields to fill when we create an entitlement, but only some of them are really mandatory. In this video, I will create a really simple entitlement, so we focus mainly on the mandatory fields. We need to define the start date and the end date of the entitlement, the end date can be even undefined. Then we need to add the customer details so the customer will receive the relevant information about the entitlement via email automatically. We need to add at least one product. At this point, you can define the license terms for each feature if required. We are going to show more in detail this step in a further video. Please note that the start date and end date of the entitlement, they have nothing to do with the license terms. They only represent a time window during which the end user or channel partner is allowed to perform the activation and so get the license. Now we can press save. When we press save, the entitlement ID is generated. Before to consume the entitlement, we need to commit it. When we commit it, a product key for each product that is part of the entitlement is generated as well. The product key and the entitlement ID are two important information that we will need during the activation phase. These details are emailed by EMS to the customer automatically. It's now time to introduce the activation process. We are now at the highlighted point of our EMS workflow. Revocation is not highlighted because I will talk about it in another video where I will touch topics that are more advanced. So what is the activation? The activation is the process when the fingerprint of the computer is bound to the license. In that way, the license produced can be utilized only on the device matching that fingerprint. During the activation phase, the fingerprint is collected interactively or even programmatically thanks to the EMS web services. The entitlement ID represents the unique reference to the entitlement created that defines the license terms for the products to it associated. Let's see now how to perform the activation. The activation can be done in different ways, interactively by the end user through the out-of-the-box customer portal or the optional enhanced customer portal for more flexibility. I will demonstrate the out-of-the-box EMS customer portal in the hands-on part. The activation can be performed even programmatically using the EMS web services. The EMS web services enable the ISV to create a dedicated application to perform the activation or to integrate it directly in the main software product. They permit integration with another system or even creating your own customer portal.
the EMS customer portal can be used by the end user for entitlement activation and revocation. To access the portal, you can use the following URL, and to login, we can use three different options. The entitlement ID, in this way you can activate all the products that are part of that entitlement, or you can use the product key, in this way you can activate only a specific product of the entitlement. Alternatively, you can use email and password if you are a named user. In this way, you have access to all the entitlements associated to you and you can activate the one that you need. Let's have a look now in practice on how to create an entitlement and how to activate it through the customer portal. Katsumi Williams works in sales operation and administration of our fictional company Globex and she needs to create an entitlement for a customer for the Globex Design Light software. The customer is Maria Flowers who works for Kitchener LTD, an interior design company, and she needs to use the software on three different workstations, a PC in the office, her laptop when she works from home and on a new shiny Mac when she needs to impress customers. So she bought three licenses which are all perpetual and standalone. So let's see how Katsumi creates the entitlement for Maria. After logging in EMS, she goes to the entitlement tab. And then she clicks on the new button. She enters a customer year. And as you can see, while she types the customer name, EMS displays to her the names of customers already in the database. In this case, Kitchener LTD is already defined, but if she needs, she can add a new one. The same is true for the email contact. Now she needs to set a start date and end date for the entitlement. It is important to remember that the entitlement start and end dates are not the same things as the duration of the license. The entitlement start and end dates represent a time window within which the customer can perform the activation to obtain the license which has its own start and end date. By default, the start date is the date of today and the end date is set to never expire. She needs now to add the product Globex Design Light to the entitlement. So she clicks on Add Product and then on the Add button. The default activation method is fixed, which means that every time the customer is performing an activation, it will consume the fixed quantity, by default one, from the quantity that is defined. In this case, she sets the quantity to three, so the end user, Maria, can perform three times the activation and so obtain three distinct licenses for this product as required in the scenario. She could set, if she wants, other parameters here, such as the license model, for example, standalone or network, the start date and end date of the license, and the seat count. Because a perpetual license is required in this case, she sets both the features to never expire and leaves all the other parameters to the default values, and she clicks on OK. Katsumi is happy with the settings, so she presses Save. As you can notice, the entitlement ID has been generated, and the entitlement icon is orange. This means that it's not ready yet to be consumed by the end user, Maria. Finally, for Katsumi, she clicks on Commit, and the icon 
turns to green. And because we added to the entitlement the email contact of Maria, and EMS is configured to do so, an email with the activation details is sent automatically to her. With the details contained in the email, Maria can now activate the license. Now let's see how she performs the activation. Maria just received the entitlement certificate. It contains the entitlement ID, the product key, the product name, the features with their license terms and the URL to EMS customer portal where she can activate the license. So she goes to the customer portal. In the customer portal she can choose to log in using the entitlement ID, the user ID and the product keys. In this video we use the standard method so the entitlement ID. Now Maria is logged into the EMS customer portal which is showing her details of what she's entitled to and it shows the product that she's entitled to activate, how many times and other details. So now to activate the product and get her license she presses the button activate. The activation process requires some parameters, like the fingerprint information. Maria has them ready and enters them in the client one info field. Optionally, it's possible to add some remarks to the activation before to press activate. Maria gets now her license. This is the license string. She can decide to save it in a file or append to an existing license file or email it to another person in case she's activating on behalf of someone else. In this case, she saves it to a file. As you can notice now, the quantity is 2 out of 3 because Maria just consumed one activation. The license is also automatically emailed to her as well. Let's have a look if Maria received an email. This is the email with the license string and all the activation details. Maria can now install the license and use the software. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful and interesting. Please stay tuned on our channel for further videos. Thank you and bye.